This is The Morning Five. I'm your host, Michael Ware, President and CEO of the Center for Christianity and Public Life, giving you five minutes of news and scripture Mondays through Thursdays. Today is Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. Let's open with scripture. Today we'll read from Matthew 5. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, good morning. I'm your host, Michael Ware. Welcome to a new week. Thank you for listening to The Morning Five. My new book, The Spirit of Our Politics, comes out just a week from today. I'm so excited to share it with you. And uh, you'll hear a bit more about it in the coming days. But for now, let's get to the news. First, I want to talk about the Iowa caucus and uh, need to issue a mea culpa on this past weekend's episode of Where We Are. Uh, We... uh, had some analysis, some speculation uh, based on something that wasn't uh, true or wasn't relevant, which is, well, the uh, Democrats, the the Democratic caucus in Iowa traditionally was open ballot. The Republican uh, caucus is a secret ballot. And so we had a, a bit of an exchange that speculated about how it might affect votes, uh, in Iowa, uh, if uh, community members knew where uh, where where you were standing, uh, but in uh, in Iowa for Republicans, it's a secret ballot, and so apologize for uh, for for that uh, that error. Let's get to the Iowa results. Donald uh, Trump, former President Donald Trump, won the Iowa caucus handily. At the time of uh, this recording, he has over 50% of the vote. Uh, uh, Governor Ron DeSantis came in second, about 30 points behind Trump. So with about, again, at the time of this recording, about 21% of the vote. With uh, former Governor Nikki Haley at around 19%. Donald Trump uh, won just about every county. It's possible Nikki Haley might have won one county, but uh, uh, with the exception of of potentially the one county, Donald Trump had a sweep of all 99 Iowa counties. He won white evangelicals handily. He won men. He won women He won among Republicans. He won among independents. Uh, He won among those who identify as very conservative, uh, 51% of Iowa caucus voters. And he won among those who identified as somewhat conservative, 38% of Iowa caucus uh, voters. Nikki Haley won among those who identify as moderate or liberal. Uh, She won 65% of that category. And so it was 
an ideal night for Donald Trump. Ideal because he won with about 50%, and I, it looks like he'll be over uh, 50%. Ideal because Nikki Haley did not come in second, and so it looks like both Haley and DeSantis will be going on at least to New Hampshire. And if Nikki Haley uh, finishes strong in New Hampshire, uh, they might all three go to South Carolina, which is, I, I think, good news for Trump. Also good news tonight for Donald Trump is that uh, Vivek Ramaswamy has suspended his campaign, and it is... Uh, expected that many of his voters will go towards Donald Trump. Uh, and so a good night for the president, uh, former president. Uh, former President Trump gave a, a victory speech that was noted for being, uh, relatively speaking, subdued, even gracious towards his opponents. Uh, and... We'll, we'll see. Ron DeSantis will be doing a CNN town hall tomorrow in New Hampshire, or I'm sorry, this evening in New Hampshire. The New Hampshire primary is in just a week, a week from today. The only other bit of news we'll cover today is the Iranian-backed uh, Houthi uh, militants in Yemen continued to launch attacks in shipping lanes, this follows U.S. and British military strikes on militant sites in Yemen that were something of a surprise to many foreign policy watchers that the U.S. and, and, and British militaries decided to uh, uh, make these retaliatory attacks a real risk of uh, expanding uh, conflict in the region and the fact that the Houthi militants have not backed down but seem uh, prepared to engage uh, in an extended way uh, only adds more concern that we're looking at a, at a potential uh, expansion of conflict uh, across across the region. All right, friends, that's the morning five for today. Let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge. and You have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, friends, thank you for joining me today. The Morning Five is brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network. Supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Hope you uh, have a good start to your week. Go Bills. Talk to you tomorrow.